Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Micro Investor, where we do techno analysis and price predictions on many different cryptocurrencies every single day. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Ethereum and picking up where we left off in the previous Ethereum video. Now, uh, if you were to look at this Ethereum video and the previous Ethereum video, they are two completely different videos because obviously uh, Ethereum has nosedived since then and so has the entire crypto market. And this is due to all that drama that's been going on between FTX and Binance and where um, we were seeing just uh, a huge sell-off with FTX. And then, and then uh, Sam bankman fried happened to go to Binance for help and then turning into Binance possibly buying FTX. And then now the possibility that Binance will not be buying FTX. So the market's just all over the place. And this is really affecting crypto a lot. This is really affecting people from taking crypto serious and gives it a bad name. And this is making it something that's less and less attractive to many people. And I understand that. And I'm still not giving up on crypto. I still am bullish on crypto, but I, I definitely am not going to be keeping any crypto on exchanges because of how 2022 has been for crypto and exchanges. And now all crypto I am keeping off exchanges unless I am either buying or selling. Now this, this entire crash that we're seeing within the market right now, this whole crash is related to selling crypto people are just not wanting to keep their crypto on exchanges and if they don't have hard wallets well they're just getting out of it and uh and i understand that right now so as we look at ethereum we have ethereum that has been within this this falling wedge that it was back uh, that it was in back in the um time that it had its 52 week high or its all-time high and it had come down with these five waves it stayed within this falling wedge and now uh, we had actually fallen back in it after just working our way out of it. So if you would have asked me last week if I would have thought that, that Ethereum was going to be seeing a massive drop in its price, I would have said no. But now, obviously, uh, Ethereum is taking a nosedive here, and there is the possibility that we could be seeing it fall below its 52-week low that it had back in the middle of June due to the fact that we're seeing just a um, such an aggressive sell-off right now. Now, at that time, the price of Ethereum was at the price around uh, a little bit under $900, a bit under $900, and there's a possibility that we could be seeing that happen here again. Hopefully not the case, but we don't want to roll it out. So let's go ahead and look a little bit more into this uh, that we're looking at right now. Uh, because we have fallen back within a trend too, things could become a bit more volatile that we are back within these trend lines. As you can see, when we did pump through this, but there was a pretty decent sized candlesticks that pumped, pumped their way out, uh, th through that. And now that we're back within it, uh, there, there could be a bit of a uh, difficulty trying to get out of it. Now, as far as we look at the wave count here, we could be looking at this and go that we have currently a, um, we have our wave one, our wave two, our wave three, our wave four, and our wave five. Now, there's also a possibility that this could not be the uh, the current uh, way that this is working out. There's a possibility that this could not be the bottom and that uh, the wave five could still have plenty more to drop. So let's play a different scenario out. And instead, we'll actually, uh, let's even extend this a bit here. So let's instead, say that there could be a possibility that we could be seeing things come down a bit lower than uh than that and say that we're not even complete with our wave three yet as a possibility i would think and that would be saying if we have our wave one here our wave two then this is all our wave three and our wave three could even have a bit more to come down in as it would look more attractive in comparison to wave to our wave one and in that case we could see the, the uh the wave three come down somewhere around the price of say 950 dollars go up within the wave four and then come down within that wave five and complete that wave five somewhere around the price of close to 700 dollars as a possibility i know it's very bearish uh, and well, let's even look at the uh the fibonacci retracement here just to see that Oh, let's look at where we're currently at. So yeah, currently, if we were to look at it, we don't really have enough price movement to have a a wave four that would be attractive. So there, we would need to be seeing it come down more anyways. So that possibility of seeing it come down closer to, within the range of the price of, of, uh, of $950 or so within that wave three, I think that that might be a bit more realistic. 
And the wave four in that case, it wouldn't have to go up as high as it is. I mean, it can come down. Uh, it can go to like $1,100 or something like that. But I think this is a more of a realistic possibility of something that we could be seeing. So I'm going to stick with that. I think that we have more to fall here. I think we might be seeing the price of Ethereum coming down closer to $700 now, seeing that we're seeing such a big sell-off with crypto. And I don't mean to sound so bearish. You guys know I'm I'm the the last person that would be saying anything bearish about crypto. I do not like to say anything bearish about crypto, but I'm trying to be realistic here, seeing that the um the whole view of crypto right now is just completely destroyed, in my opinion. And and to have anything other than a bearish stance right now would just be a bearish stance in the temporarily and hope for, of course, a much more bullish situation to happen here obviously in the future but we're kind of resetting now we're resetting from where we're at within uh june so the reset button's been hit and now we're trying to see how long this could take to correct so this is going to take a long time this is not it took us so long to even get to um to, to get to where we just were to see ethereum out of that falling wedge pattern and and you know, this is a change here, but hopefully there might be a bigger correction that would happen after we see this happen. After we see Ethereum drop down a bit, uh, drop down to that price of 700, it can go to 750 even. I mean, I think that'd be even possible, but I think that there's still more to fall within this wave three, and we still would have a wave five to take us down even lower after that. So that's where I'm at currently. I'm going to be dollar cost averaging right now. And I'm not going to be looking at Ethereum as uh, thinking that that it's going to turn around right away. I think that the move to the upside that we see, if we see it drop a little bit more, the move to upside will just be that wave four. And that's my current stance with Ethereum. Uh, and I apologize to be so bullish. And I apologize to anybody that is seeing their crypto currently locked up with the whole FTX drama. And hopefully there, after we complete the wave five within this, that we do see a turnaround with Ethereum and we do see Ethereum price uh, to quickly correct and to hopefully um, to to hopefully re retrace all this that we currently have just dropped uh, much quicker than than um, than we did last time so anyways with that being said I'll leave it right here I will keep you guys updated every single day still with what's going on with Bitcoin and Ethereum and many other altcoins as well so please like share comment subscribe new content coming out all the time I'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching listening